Cadillac whips. I'm the sh. Y'all look good, guarantee you what it is. I'm riding and I'm swerving. Lame steady hurting. Hate on a boy, but you know I got purpose. Chalk Let me tell you. We are glad this one is happening, man. We are glad. One of the most celebrated personalities and creatives in Boston. I kid you, I kid you not. I've been watching it for years. He got his newest project, Flaccid Rap, out now with some dope, bouncy records and a sample or two that will take you back to them times, for real. I got OG Swagger Dick in the museum with me right the motherfuck now. My my brother, dog. Hey, what's up, man? My dog, my dog. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Hey, no man. doubt, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the main camera over here. My brother, man, I'm gonna be catching some angles over there. You know what I'm saying? But yo, bro, um, I know you know. Um, it's been a long time coming for me, bro. Dog, I'm really happy for this one happening, bro. Um, but I ain't gonna lie. Um, to to really kick things off, bro. The biggest, biggest, biggest question I ask, and you probably know, bro, is. Where did the name originate from? Like, was it given? Did you kind of, you know, <laughs> dub yourself? You feel me? Like, how did that go, bro? Um, Basically started from the internet and like an inside joke. Um, Pretty much I seen the word swagger dick somewhere and I thought that shit was hella funny. And then OG <laughs> came from just um Friday after next when you'd be like, what's up, OG? Triple, triple. So hey, it pretty word, much just word. stemmed from that. And then when I started doing music, it just kind of stuck. No, nah, that's lit, bro. Um, And it's... I love how yo bro you 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 the way you um refer to like classic cultural movies you know what I'm saying music shit like that bro so effortlessly bro that should go a long way bro no lie bro no Thank funny you. shit um so um one heavy critique that I feel like most Boston creatives get bro is that in general you know we always we 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 tend to look like we're emulating other states, other styles, other mm -hmm. swags, things like that, bro. These are things that um people always get. Um, but kind of going off of a question from Instagram from Pat fifty eight hundred, um, how do you build a platform and following while still being true to who you are? By the way, thanks Pat fifty eight hundred on Instagram, man. Big ups, hey, bro. Hey, shouts out Pat, man. What it do? Um. I don't. I, you just do it. I don't. You I just really. Do it. You just do it. I don't. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, yeah. yeah, you just gotta really just do it. Don't be afraid. If something inspires you, like use that. Mm -hmm. But don't like. Don't think too hard on it. But if it inspires you, use that. We're we're in the age of the internet. Everybody got to give that whole regional shit up because Boston's never had a sound for one, mm -hmm. two. We're all fucking a part of the age of the information, you feel me? So, like, we all grew up, and most of us, like, people my age, I'm born in 91, um, we've seen, like, the internet grow, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, like, naturally, we all grew up watching TRL, One yes, of Park, yes, listening to the radio, and then the Wheezy era happened, yeah. Trap happened, you know, mad stuff in our time, you feel me? Jerking happened, like, That's mad shit, you feel me? Like, I was Yo. a jerker, you know? Like, yeah, bro, I remember then, the days, you know, I remember the days. So, like, mad stuff has just happened, and we've all seen it, and we've all, like, gravitated towards what we loved and what we've seen, and yes, sir. it helps you create something, and yes, yes it may not sound like here, and yes, may, people may be inspired inspired by drill that came from UK or fucking melodic tunes that came from who knows where that's always been around honestly but P like piggybacking off what you're saying real quick I mean you know talking about the different eras bro one era that you know I know for a fact you know both of us was definitely hip to was the little B era bro when you know what I'm saying little B was out here killing it bro exactly. and, and, and really brought forth you know, to mainstream, a whole new just swag, bro. A whole new just everything. That's how I started rapping. Man? Literally, <laughs> once I once Lil B started rapping, not once he started rapping. Once I got into Lil B, and I was like, oh, you can literally say anything. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, cause cause I grew up with like rap, so like yeah. I thought about lyrical like substance and like man, not everything yeah. needs to have substance. Some shit just needs shit. to be fun. Yeah, and Lil B put that in me and. Nah, yo, bro, the, mu the music embodies it too, bro. It's always a vibe, bro. As much as, you know, and, and I know you probably get the vibe, bro, from the quote-unquote hard dudes where it's like, man, this ain't right, this is, you know what I'm saying, da da da, -da. But it's like, they can't not comment, bro, because cause the bounce is there, bro. They're like, damn, I actually feel good listening to this, though. Yeah, man, that's you know the goal. Saying, it's just bro? like, as you long as you me? feel good, you feel good, man. People... 
think too much, bro. And 100%. sometimes you just gotta have fun. Yes, because when you have fun, that's like you get the best results. Yes, bro. My dog, my dog, my dog, man. Um, I got one last crowd question, bro. This time it's coming from Twitter. Um, at Wed Bings. Um, he asked, "Is there any hope for Uncle Mark's cab? Uncle Mark's cabin three. Last one was during Obama's presidency. <laughs> First off, bro, no lie. Uh, can you bring us into this? Because I'm honestly not wild hip to what bro was talking about. And is there any hope? <laughs> so you know Uncle I'm Mark's saying? cabin were freestyle tapes I made. I would make them like after projects. So mm. I made Uncle Mark's Cabin. I made the first one after Game Boy Color. And I made the second one after Swagger Dick 2016. Mm -hmm. Three. I don't know if there's going to be a three. But um, who knows? Damn. Who knows? Uh, my dog those, is definitely tuned in. Yeah, that, all that's them, fire. All them songs are literally just freestyle, like from front to back, just straight freestyle. It's going crazy. Yeah. Dog. Um, all right, so shit, moving forward, bro, moving forward. Thank you, Wed Bings, you know what I'm saying? Definitely tuned them, and we appreciate yes, that for we real. appreciate it. Um, so diving into Flaccid Rap, though, bro. Mm -hmm. Personally, Let Out Boy is my favorite John. Let Out Boy's anthem, yeah, man. Shout out Dre anthem, B, bro, you feel me? Dog, Dre B, yo. what it do? Yo, and I got to ask you about Dre <laughs> B, man. I got to ask you about Dre B. Um, after Let Out Boy's anthem, though, Whip Fast is... A, a crazy fire record to me. I got. I'm, I'm gonna ask you about Whip Fast too, mm -hmm. bro. Cause I, I, if if I got it right, I like what you did with that shit. No mm -hmm. funny. Um, but the last after that is Derek Fisher, bro. For me, um, in terms of like my top three, I'll say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but man. Let Out Boys Anthem. You sampled the classic Brandy and Monica duet. The boy is mine, bro. That shit, bro. That shit hit home like a motherfucker, bro. Dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, cause, bro. I was up in Montreal heavy during my younger years, bro. Mm -hmm. And when I say the radio up there, bro, you already know. When it came from America, bro, they, they, they ate it up. The boy is mine was on 24-7, yeah. bro. I swear <laughs> to you, bro. I mean, I grew up with literally I have nothing but girl cousins. I maybe have like, well, on my dad's side at least, nothing but girl cousins. Yeah. Like I have like two boy cousins, so... Mm -hmm. It was just me as a kid because my other cousin lived in Germany. So they were, all they did was bump Brandy and Monica. That's yeah. all women in my family did, you know. So like, that's a class. It's just just a, nah, it's just a classic joint. Song, and uh, when Marcus sent that, and I heard he he played that, and I was just like, yo, like now nah, Marco. I gotta shit, bro. I gotta do something to it. Well, I'm doing something to this. It's not I gotta. Yeah, I yeah. am doing something. It's just a matter of fact of what exactly am I doing. Yeah. So it's crazy because. My writing process is so random. It could be either be I get a beat like that, yeah. and the first initial thing any nigga thinks or if everybody thinks is like, oh, make the boy the the girl is mine. And I'm like, ah, uh, that's uh. corny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, could I do that? And then I play around with that idea, and I'm like, I don't really want to do that. That's just ass. And then yeah. uh, <laughs> I just start, you know, I'll end up writing to it, and then whatever comes comes. Respect, respect. Um, uh, the video though, bro. Why, yo, bro? Why was you getting moved on the whole video, bro? And I'm sitting, yo, man. bro. I'm sitting there watching the. By the way, by the way, and and this goes back to everything that we was talking about, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, like the like like the music is just so joyful and like you know it has that air of you know what I'm saying fun to it. Mm -hmm. But then the videos is hard, bro. Dog, classic quality shit, bro. You out there studying this shit, bro. And the niggas is out here jumping. You ever see them? Like yo, nah, nah, this can't be it, bro. Shit ain't sweet out here, man. You feel me? <laughs> just, that's the moral of the story, man. Shit ain't sweet, b. You gotta stay sharp, stay on your ten toes. You feel me, no man? No funny, man. No Snakes funny, be man. Out here after you. For a good moment out your day, definitely go take a look at the Let Out Boys anthem video, man. All on YouTube right now for sure. But um, lastly though, who is that young mace or loon sounding brother, bro? <laughs> who, bro? yo, my nigga Dre B, man. Shout out Dre, dog. Where's, where's bro from, bro? Because he's I, from I, here. I, obviously, you know, like I'm, I'm only asking because bro wasn't, you know, like yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying. Dre's from here, man. He 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 don't. I want low him to rap nigga. so bad, yeah, but he's so nigga. low key, and I don't think he really want to like. Cause what's crazy? He, he wasn't even credited on the shit, bro. So I'm like, Yo. that's only on iTunes. That's cause I messed it up. Cause the first, so when I went to release it the first time. I basically had um, I don't know what I did, but I messed up somewhere. Mm. So I was just like, I wasn't. Th my mind was cluttered when I was like putting it down. And I totally forgot to put his name on that part, which respect, was respect. I but, mean, but he's on video, he's right? on labeled on everything, and then, um, yeah, he's so he's always he's low key always like wrote and like rap. Like I remember him rapping like when I started, 
And the songs he was making, I was just like, bro, these shit is hard. Yeah. And I went back and listened to him when I had when I made Let Out Boys Anthem. Because I was either going to write a second verse or I was going to get a feature. And I was trying to figure that part out. And I really nah. couldn't think about... I thought about one person that I couldn't think about like after they didn't reach out. And I was listening to old shit and I just pulled his shit up and I was like... Nigga, I'm putting this nigga on here. This yeah, is my dog, respect, man. Like, respect. My dog. I was like, I told him, I was like, bro, I'm putting you on a song. I was like, bro, if it's ass, I'm going to tell you. But I didn't think, I wouldn't, I didn't think, like, I can, something weird about me, I love track lists and I yeah. love, like, the, how, I love a project front to back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I can picture music, mm-hmm. like, in my head. And, like, if I could hear somebody's voice, I can picture it. So I pictured him on the song. I was mm-hmm. like, he's already on the song. He just mm-hmm. got to make it. Mm-hmm. And he literally didn't. I was like, all right, bet. My dog, man, my dog. Shout out, shout out, Dre, man. Dre shout B, out, man. What's up, man? Yo, um, so <clears throat> you already know, bro. One of the main reasons why we here is because everybody always praises your your originality, bro. You've built your career off of it, I'd say. Um, mm-hmm. Never having to switch <laughs> up is probably one of the best things because it's really you, bro. There's no, you know. There's 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 no way that you're drawing that energy from. It's really just you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, the song Whip Fast, like I was mentioning earlier, though, bro. Um, the song to me, and you could definitely tell your boy if he's wrong, is basically saying, I don't care what y'all on. You know what I'm saying? I'm being me, and honestly, I'll probably outlast y'all niggas in this race because of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you could tell me, bro, what was the motivation <laughs> behind Whip Fast, bro, or am I just overthinking it, bro? Tell your boy that. Hey, man, you know, it's, it's, it's about being in your own lane. Yeah, yeah. I really, really- <laughs> <laughs> Talk yeah, yeah. about driving. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Talk about driving. It's the same thing, though. You know, it's, it's, if you're driving, you know, you you in your own lane, you know? Mm-hmm. Nobody, I ain't crashing, not, you know? Damn, I'm yeah, I was overthinking it, dog. I mean, oh, it, I mean it, so when I wrote the song, it really, like, them words just came, like, I can't explain it. I have a weird writing process. Yeah. I either will take five minutes to write something, mm-hmm. or I'll take... I might take a whole session or I'll just freestyle this shit. And Whip Fast happened to be one of those songs that I made within like five minutes. Bless. It was just like. Damn, that show was made in five. The beat, the beat came on. Damn. Mako's about to leave my house, put it on. I was like, oh shit. I got some. Went in, recorded it, came back out, wrote a line, recorded it, came back out, thought about it, wrote a line again. Like, or recorded a line again. Like, it's so I don't even know if I have that song in my notes. So it, it's it sounds so it might like, be freestyled. It sounds like you live in life, bro. You're doing your thing. You know the lifestyle is rocking, and the music is just kind of always playing in the background. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a kind of like an ambient sound. Kind of that's that's kind of you know going through your mind, bro. And as things come, it's like bang. Let me make sure that's on concrete. You know what I'm saying? All yeah, certain certain songs are like that. Yeah, okay. like the, I'll have certain ideas. Like there's certain songs that have I've had in my head since i was like a kid wow yeah, yeah. and like i'm older now and i'm like oh let me just make that Fact. like it's so i cannot explain it's the weirdest thing sounds have been in my head forever and now i'm finally able to put those shits out like for people to hear and the shit's Ooh. fire because like the like the uh the interludes i do when i do like a quartet type thing i've Not been fact. doing that since i was a kid <laughs> like that was something i would just do just out of boredom you and do, now it's like you doing the um the static TV noise, bro, with your mouth, bro, during the um the interludes, bro, is funny as hell, bro, dog. No funny shit. Yeah, see, just just you know like stuff like that. Like, like I, that. I hear things in my head, and it's just like just do it. Yeah, just. So I mean, piggybacking off of that, in terms of you know, um, you know, things just kind of always being with you, in terms of moving forward, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what is next for OG, bro? Um, my next tape. Don't quote me. I'm gonna call it OG Land. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the that's the um name i have the concept and everything it's kind of been something i was just thinking about last year mm-hmm. and I, I already got like some of the music done for it i got like 10 songs i believe done word, word, so damn. i'm just word. trying to work on more and then just choose from those and just so is, like is, is it multiple rap. projects for the year type deal is, is, is that what um that's the goal that's the goal we'll see what happens but course, the goal is just to be consistent and just to Get the get get the art from mm-hmm. your head physically out there. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, that's the goal. Just to execute, make sure it's the right done. Way. Yeah, 
Respect, my nigga, man. Respect, bro. You know I love it, bro, dog. My man, my man, my man, OG Swagger Dick is in the building, in the museum, man. Finally got my guy up here, man. Dope yeah, conversation, man. bro, man. I appreciate you really, honestly, letting the people into, you know what I'm saying, what's going on, you know what I'm saying, with yourself, bro, and the creative process, bro, because, you know, I know... <clears throat> When you're doing your thing, bro, you don't want to sit there and feel like you know you bragging and things like that. So that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I do my thing, bro. So you can come on here and get your brags off, my dude. Yeah, man, you feel you know me? What I'm saying? I don't really my talk bro. about much, you know. Done did a lot. Yeah, Still got man. a lot more to do. Talk that shit. But you know, I'm here, man, and you know, here that's for it. everybody. You know, if you need anything, hit me up. I see what I can do. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Certain things I can help with more than others, but yeah. even advice, if you just need advice, you know, just hit me up, man. Yeah, Shout out bro. to everybody doing their thing. There's a lot of new people that are Killing slowly it. coming up and just... Killing it. It's a whole nother wave and they're amazing. Like, bro, we watching it. We watching yeah. it right with our own eyes. Literally. Bro. They're you know all fire. It's my crazy. dog. My dog, man. My dog, man. Look, um, can you please tell the people where to follow you before we end off, bro? Hey, follow me on everything at OG Swagger Dick, except TikTok. I think it's OG underscore Swagger Dick. So, yeah, man. Twitter, IG. Yeah. My God. Apple Music. My All God, that. man. Make sure y'all leaving a like on this video. Leaving a comment with any questions. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you learned something new from, um, from my guy, OG, today. Um, if, you know, you need some advice, man. You know what I'm saying? My guy might, might, might have a few, you know what I'm saying? A couple of cents for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, Feel me, man. <laughs> it is the Museum TV, man. My name is Noble, as you know. It is, we are Boston's premier vlog exhibiting the culture's stories, man. Seven years strong. We're working on eight stories from the culture all 2021. Get with us. Make sure y'all leaving that like and subscribing. Like I said, I'm going to see y'all next time, man. OG, bro, I appreciate you, baby. Ooh, we. Cadillac whips. Y'all look good, guarantee you what it is I'm riding, I'm swerving, lame steady hurting Hate on a boy, but you know I got purpose Chopped in the get poked if you touch me so hey, lucky. it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV And I just wanted to thank you for tuning in to Boston's Premier Vlog If you liked this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel I'll leave a few other videos around here for you Just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories